All right, today, guys, we're going to take a look at this uh, item uh, by Blue Fireball Technologies. It is a two inch eyepiece extension tube, and um, it uh, gives you 35 millimeters of extra extension on the draw tube of your focuser should you need a little bit more out focus. And uh, their number is an X 03. Now the reason I ended up buying this is because I recently bought uh, the Tech Telescope Engineering Company uh, five place turret. You could put five eyepieces in it. And on my 130 GTX refractor, I was not able, the draw tube bottomed out. So I had to come in just a little bit further, uh, just several millimeters, uh, to achieve a better focus. And so that's why I bought this and for those of you that might uh, be interested in knowing how to get to the inch value of that 35 millimeters worth of extension that it gives <clears throat> it's real simple you would take 35 then you divide that by the constant 25.4 because roughly to one decimal point there's 25.4 millimeters per inch that gives you 1.378 inches of extension rounded. So let's take a look at this. You get two knobs to tighten this down with, and they are knurled so that you can get a good grip on them. And I've tried it, and it does work, does work good. As you can see, the inside has the brass band in there so that when you're tightening it down, Actually, that brass band will give you a better tightness because you're pushing something against the eyepiece instead of just the uh, end of the screw. So much better. I know in the old days, that's how everything came uh, many years ago, but everybody's coming to this really in a better quality stuff because it, it will hold much, much better. If for some reason, guys, you were to lose one of those, you need to get a replacement, the thread is a uh, four millimeter diameter by 0 0.7 pitch and the length of that is eight millimeters Now I should uh, state before I go any further that the reason that I even needed an extension in the telescope wasn't that I needed it to use the turret, the tech turret, but I was showing what you would need to do if you wanted to use two inch filters because the uh, tech turret does not have a nose piece threaded for two inch eyepieces. And so the roundabout way to do it would be to use an extension tube, the shortest one that I had at the time, that would accept the two inch filters. And the blue fireball here does have filter threads. And we will take a look at those. And here you can see the threads. Now it goes without saying that you should not have to force threads. If you're working on your car or anything, especially with these fine threads here, uh, if, if, and if at any time it offers resistance when you're starting it by hand, stop, take a look, see what's going on. There's a problem. There's either dirt, something's been uh, damaged, a thread, or you've got the wrong thread entirely. So. With that being said, let's thread this on here. And you can see that it does screw on very easy. But I do have to point out, if you take a look at the extension tube and the uh, filter, you can see where there's a slight gap. Now what I'm going to do here is we see the batter symbol. 
and we kind of line it up to where it's at here as reference so now we're going to unscrew it to where it comes loose or off right there so we were right about there and we see that we're we're just a little bit past or right around three quarters maybe a little bit past where this only caught by three quarters of a rotation and when I put it on there is no resistance nothing that tells me that there would be an issue okay but it doesn't totally bottom out I want to bring that to your attention now here is the astrophysics extension tube that I was using and as you can see it's a little bit longer and I needed just that little bit extra so let's see how the uh, it, it threads into the astrophysics adapter same filter and now we see that it goes quite a few rotations on and bottoms out so here you can clearly see what I'm talking about and so not quite sure what's up with that but it could just be uh, that this has a little bit different tolerance in the pitch diameter wise it goes on pitch wise might be just slightly uh, all my two inch eyepieces the majority of my inch and a quarter and two inch are batters I have no two inch filters that are not a batter filter so I can't try a different brand in the inch and a quarter I have several other brands but uh, not in the two inch to test so what I thought I'd do is we see the locking knob here on the astrophysics and we're right around where the red is the D and the red so let's just for uh, a hell of it let's see how many rotations I get out of this so so there's one right there about one and where are we at so there's the red so about one and I don't know what what one uh, I don't know it wouldn't be one and three quarters it's more than one and a half one and five eighths thereabouts so I just thought I'd point that out for full disclosure so to be clear in my opinion uh, I would still use this um, I would have no qualms about using that filter in here it went on and off and, and when I do tighten it down or, or get it to where it stops turning so I don't have any qualms about using this I would use this but I like I said I did want to point that out that I noticed that in case anybody else happened to find that out and so I wanted to have my uh, review as uh, honest as I could get it for the equipment that I have again uh, a different brand you may get get different results all right so let's look at its gripping ability uh, here's the uh, tech turret we'll put that in there and we'll tighten it down and it, it really these work nice those two thumb screws they really hold good they grip good I'm pulling on this it's not pulling out excellent grip and gives me the extension uh, what I'm looking for it gives me the amount of extension I need plus still has the filter option that I which is the reason for the extension so all in all guys I think it's a very good value and a nice extension too